Hey there, I'm Ethan, and in today's video, we're going to show you how to take this box from Carl's Place and a stack of EMT and turn it into a backyard theater ready to impress your audience in less than an hour. Backyard theaters are an option growing in popularity for weddings, cookouts, and other pop-up events. Many of our clients include homeowners, cities, parks, and businesses due to how easy it is to pack up your kit and bring it to the next location. Your audience may vary in size, but our kit makes it easy to set up a large screen for your impromptu theater and experience the magic that is backyard theater. Your kit ships to you in a box similar to this one. Inside, you'll find the finished edge screen made to the dimensions that you specified, all fittings needed to complete the frame, six inch ball bungees, and assembly instructions. You'll need to source the one inch EMT conduit from a big box store or a contractor store, such as Home Depot or Lowe's. EMT stands for electrical metal tubing and is commonly found in the electrical aisle. Our kits were designed for EMT, so be sure not to confuse it with rigid or PVC pipe. Please note that your specific design may vary depending on the sizes that you chose, but the steps in general will be the same. Using a permanent marker, label your pipes to the proper letters and the respective cut marks. It's also important to make a mark four inches from the edge of the pipe to ensure that the pipes are inserted to the correct depth. Grab a sawzaw, bandsaw, or hacksaw and make the cuts according to the marks you just made. To use even less tools and save a little bit of time, you can also ask the associate at the store to cut the pipes for you prior to your purchase. Please be sure to insert the pipes only four inches into the fittings, otherwise your frame may be out of square. You'll be able to assemble the entire frame by hand, but you'll want to use a screwdriver or another tool to tighten the eyelets. To start your build, you'll want to use the diagram included with your kit to build the base of the frame. Be sure to pay attention to the orientation of the fittings and the diagram and keep the angled sections facing upward. After the base is complete, the last five pipes will make up the screen frame. When hanging the screen, you'll be using ball bungees. The ball bungees are a great tool because they're easy to install and also provide an even tension across the screen. To use the bungees, Simply insert the bungee through the grommet from the rear, pull the bungee tight to the back of the screen, and pull the loop around the pipe and lock it around the ball. The quarter bungees can be a little tricky to get installed properly the first time. Pull one bungee through halfway and then firmly to the side. With the bungee being pulled, you should be able to pull another one through the same hole, allowing you to affix one to each side of the corner. Once the screen is attached, raise the frame and screen. Be very aware of the wind when raising the screen and secure the frame with weights or stakes to prevent damage to the screen or any nearby structures. Carl's Place offers a wide variety of screen material options that fit nearly every situation. Take a look at our materials overview video linked in the description to hear a little bit about our white, gray, acoustic, rear projection, and 3D projector screens. Solutions for mounting your projector are about as varied as the places our kits are used. A couple of the most common include a movable podium or a portable cart that protects the electronics from dew and the elements. A few things to remember now that your backyard theater is set up. Backyard theater screens aren't rated for golf balls or other projectiles. If you have an itch to swing clubs, check out our DIY or pro golf enclosures. When storing your screen, make sure that it's clean and dry prior to folding it up. If you store the screen for an extended period of time, your screen may have visible fold marks when the screen is installed. To smooth them out, hang the screen earlier in the day to give the bungees ample time to work out the fold marks. To ensure an even tension around the frame, 
Ensure that the pipes are inserted only to the 4 inch mark every time that you assemble it. For a cleaner look, ensure that the ball part of the ball bungee is looped through the back of the screen and hidden from the audience. Hey, thanks for watching our videos. If you'd like to stick around and see more, subscribe by clicking on our logo. For related content, we put a couple extra videos over on the left side of the screen for you. For any of the products that we discussed in our video today, links as always are in the description down below. I'm Ethan with Carl's Place. I'll see you later.